Hello! Welcome to Go Beyond Betty. We're making pizza. It's pizza party day. So we are gonna make our dough two days out. That's one thing I love about having a pizza party and doing sourdough crust is a lot of stuff can be done two days ahead. I always find that the crust is the best that way. I'm gonna tell you everything in grams, but check the description below. If you don't have scale, I'll give you the equivalent for the US conversion. The imperial system. Do you make that shit up? No, look it up. Okay, this is 900 grams of all-purpose flour. If I had a higher gluten flour, I would use it. Then I'm using equal amounts of salt and sugar, about 20 grams a piece. You can mix it in, it really doesn't matter. I find I just throw everything together. Water, just purified water. I just do it right out of the Brita. 500 grams. I almost want to say milliliters. You do that by weight? I did. Okay. I obviously zeroed out the thing. And then 200 grams of sourdough starter. This is active, it's bubbly, it floats. If you put a little dab of it inside a cup with water, it will float. That's how you know that it is ready. If it's not, then you're gonna have to beat your starter again and wait until it is ready. All right, mix it all together. I tend to use my biggest bowl, and this is my favorite instrument. I don't know what it would be called. Is this an offset spatula? I basically get it till all the flour is absorbed. This is not like a, you got a heavy knead type of crust. This is just really fast, throw it together. And we are gonna work it through maybe two more times this evening. And then it'll be ready to just make into rounds and put in the fridge. So once it's mostly absorbed, I can go in there with my hands. And if you've watched my sourdough video, um, I told you that your hand naturally doesn't want to touch wet stuff. It automatically kind of releases in that area. And that's all you're doing. You're kind of mixing things around, tossing it around. It does make a little mess sometimes. That's why I use a big bowl. And I just use the base of the bowl to help bring it all together. So I guess this is kneading, but I'm really just kneading it until it comes together. And you can see the flour is almost gone. I just do it until the flour is gone and then I'm gonna cover it and leave it alone for about a half an hour. So take a look in here. The flour is absorbed. We have one big giant blob. I'm gonna cover this with plastic wrap. So we'll come back in a half an hour and give it a mix. It has been sitting about a half an hour. Take your plastic wrap off, keep it to the side. We need to mix this around. Um, I find the best way to do it is just to have wet hands. Otherwise, it might stick. And I kind of just keep grabbing it. That's about all I do. I give it about, oh, a 30 second zhuzh. I don't know a better word for this. That's it. Done. Cover it again. And then we'll check it in. I'm probably going to let it go now for an hour. And then after an hour, we're going to put it into six rounds and put it in the fridge. That's all we have to do. It's been another hour or two and this is definitely risen. So now we're gonna break it up into six equal pieces. If it's helpful for you, get you know some device, cut it into six pieces. I just get a regular sheet pan, sprayed it with Pam, and I'm gonna divide it out. I am gonna use this in a minute, so don't throw that away. And I, I always do find it's easier to use wet hands. So again, you can either divide it or you're gonna be, I don't even know how to, Describe that. Like a three and a half, four inch little thing. And you can feel that they've already risen a little bit. That's all you do. It's kind of curl your fingers around it, making a little disc. I think people overthink pizza. You think because you've seen it in a store, oh, it's gotta be so difficult. No, you can do it at home. You can do it just right in the oven. I do have an uni, which is what we're gonna do today. But honestly, I think as much as I love my uni. I love the ones at home better. You can have a lot more toppings when you're going just right in the oven because in the oven, you're gonna cook for 12 to 15 minutes, depending on how hot your oven can get. And the uni, you can, it's one minute. So you can't really have a ton of ingredients on that. All right, that's it. I find that even though I put them in the fridge, it's best to give them a little shot of pan on top so they don't stick to the uh, plastic wrap. Leave them in the fridge two days. And when you're ready to make pizza, bring them out maybe an hour to two hours beforehand. You kind of want them at room temperature. You don't want them cold. And that's it. All told, how long does it take me, Tommy? Hands on time, probably eight minutes. Yeah. There's the man of the hour. Mm. <laughs> we 
got the pizza station ready. The boxes made and prepped. Very nice. Oh, I'll get the cornmeal. The oven is ready. So, my folks are here. They taught me everything I know <laughs> about pizza. <laughs> so we have our sourdough crust dough. Well, sourdough dough, I guess. It's been in the fridge for two days. So this dough takes two days and I do it right from cold. So I do take a little bit longer to stretch it out, but I don't need a rolling pin because I learned how to throw it. <laughs> stretch with the knuckles. Yeah. <laughs> but it is cold. I'm sh I should have brought these out a little bit earlier and I forgot. <laughs> do you remember how to whip it around? Are you sure? <laughs> so I don't want them bigger than 12 inch. So I'm gonna stick yeah, I told them. No pancake size. No pancake size. Oh, this gosh. one I'm just gonna do olive oil and garlic. Cause this, these are the appetizer ones. Yes. I'm not gonna wait a minute. Do you wanna brush it off? No, I just I'm gonna smear it. Thank you for your patience, Tom. And thank you for your service. It is Veterans Day. Whoop, whoop. And we're celebrating by making Tom work, making pizzas and wings for people near and far, meaning down the road. Tell them about your fundraiser. Oh, so we are supporting veterans today. We have chosen a local farm called Fields for Valor. They are in Maryland, you can check them out. I'll put a link below. Follow me to the oven. After the well, homestead, it's Mike it's opened it's a smaller one up in Moriarty. They yeah. built uh -huh. Jack wanted to be in on uh, building. It's called the uh, Varsity Inn. Uh, I forgot all about the barbecue one. That's right. Yeah. Yeah, yeah we did barbecue and we had a rotisserie, a smoker. Oh, I got to get that, dude. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and the Varsity Inn was all pizza? Uh, pizza, hamburgers, subs. Sandwiches, yeah, subs. Oh, yeah. <laughs> okay, let's get some cornmeal on this. What am I making? Mm. Sham, what's the order? Bread, <clears throat> half cheese, half pineapple and ham. Pepperoni, pineapple. Pineapple on the same half? Yes. There you go. Woo like a pro. All right. So dark. Yeah. Mom, you want to do it? All right. You guys want a little snack? What's the name of it? Old rag. Can I see a toss? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Let's see who can go higher. Oh, I can out throw her. <laughs> what do you want to do? Just get in. Oh, okay. Pizza Hey! <laughs> We're almost ready. Sorry. Yeah. I, so I can drop off more later. You know what I would title that shot? Let me get that bag oh, okay. in there too. Yeah. Take, what, Tom? Take what she a couple has, of cutie I'll, pies. Okay. <laughs> well, we used pies. all the cutie pies. You and your dad, cutie pies together. You're making oh, pies. Oh, no, they were hard, but they're fine. They're yeah, the puns right. are great when you have to explain so them. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it loses something <laughs> in the translation. <laughs> Side hustle. Start a little side hustle. Secret. All right. That's good. Thank you. No. 
So whether it's Super Bowl season or just any kind of Friday night ritual, pizza from home or inside or out of the kitchen is just so amazingly delicious and better than any kind of thing that can come from a delivery guy. It's so good. There's nothing better than pizza at home. Hmm, unless it's free pizza. So thank you for joining me at Go Be Betty where you are taking pizza whisks in the kitchen. We'll see you again next time. Bye.